In this video, we're going to finish out the using trigonometry to find the angle measures worksheet on CUDA software. I'll leave a link to this free worksheet in the description below. Currently, we're finding the measure of the indicated angle to the nearest degree. So for number 19, you can see the indicated angle is marked with a question mark and we've been replacing that question mark with a variable. So let's go ahead and use the variable x for this first one. Go ahead and if you haven't already, write out so katoa. This will help us remember whether to use sine, cosine, or tangent when solving for the measure of that angle. So the measure of angle x is what we're solving for. We're given the side that is adjacent to x and we're also given the hypotenuse since the hypotenuse is always directly opposite the right angle. So we have our A for adjacent, our H for hypotenuse, so we're going to use cosine. The cosine of angle X is equal to the adjacent side length, which is 26, over the hypotenuse, which is 45. We need to isolate this X, so we're going to take the inverse cosine of both sides. The inverse cosine of the cosine of x is simply x, and then we're going to enter in the inverse cosine of 26 over 45, making sure our calculator is in degree mode, and that's going to give us 54.7, which rounds to 55 degrees for number 19. So that indicated angle is approximately 55 degrees. In number 20, let's go ahead and call this angle Z. We're given what's opposite Z, and we're given the hypotenuse of 19. So we're going to use sine opposite, and hypotenuse, we're going to use sine. So the sine of that angle Z is equal to the opposite side length, which is 16 over the hypotenuse of 19. Taking the inverse sine of both sides will help us isolate that z. We'll be left with z on the left hand side and that's going to be equal to the inverse sine of 16 over 19. And that gives us approximately 57 degrees for number 20. In number 21, Let's go ahead and call this angle X. We're given all the side lengths, so we're going to be able to choose. We're given what's opposite, we're given what's adjacent, and we're given the hypotenuse. So go ahead, use either sine, cosine, or tangent to solve for this. I'm going to go ahead and use tangent. So we have the tangent of X, so we're going to need to enter in the opposite, which is 76 and we're going to need to enter in the adjacent, which is 57. So the tangent of x equals opposite, which is 76, over 57. Doing the inverse tangent of both sides will give us that x is equal to the inverse tangent of 76 over 57, which is approximately 53 degrees. Let's go ahead and use another function to solve this. Let's use cosine. If we're using cosine, we're going to need to do adjacent over the hypotenuse. So the cosine of x equals 57 over 95. Taking the inverse cosine of both sides, we'll get that x is equal to the inverse cosine of 57 over 95, which indeed equals 53 degrees. So you can see that you can use tangent, cosine, and go ahead and feel free to try it with sine. For sine, you're going to use the opposite, which will be 76 over the hypotenuse of 95, and you indeed will get 53 degrees. For number 22, we're given all three sides again. We're solving 
For this angle, let's go ahead and call this angle B. Since we didn't use sine in the previous, let's use it now. So the sine of B is going to be equal to the opposite, which is 72, over the hypotenuse, which is 75. Taking the inverse sine of both sides, we'll get that the measure of that angle B is equal to the inverse sine of 72 divided by 75, which is approximately 74 degrees for number 22. And feel free to use cosine or tangent as well. In number 23, we have 33, 44, and 55. If we're looking at this angle, let's go ahead and call this angle R. I used sine in the previous one, so I'll go ahead and use cosine this time. When I'm using cosine, I need to use the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Our hypotenuse is 55, and the adjacent side is going to be 33. So the cosine of R equals 33, which is the adjacent side length, over 55. Taking the inverse cosine of 33 divided by 55 will give us about 53 degrees for number 23. In number 24, we're given all three side lengths again. I use sine, then I use cosine, so let's go ahead and use tangent for number 24. If we're using tangent, the tangent of our angle, let's go ahead and call this angle A. The tangent of A, we're going to need to use the adjacent side and the opposite side. So that's everything excluding the hypotenuse. So we do not need to use this 97. So we're going to do TOA, so it's going to be opposite over adjacent. So our opposite side is 72 over our adjacent side, which is 65. The inverse tangent of the tangent of A is equal to the inverse tangent of 72 over 65, which is going to give us approximately 48 degrees. For number 25, Let's go ahead and use sine again. We're looking at this angle here. Let's call that angle X. So the sine of X is equal to the opposite, which is 39 over the hypotenuse, which is 65. That's going to leave us with X equal to the inverse sine of 39 divided by 65 which gives us approximately 37 degrees. So 37 degrees is the measure of that indicated angle. And lastly, number 26. Let's go ahead and use cosine. Let's call this angle Y, and we're going to say the cosine of Y equals, remember it's adjacent over hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse is always directly across from the right angle, and also another trick to figuring out what the hypotenuse is, especially when given all three sides, the hypotenuse is always the greatest side length. So 74 is greater than 70, and 74 is greater than 24, so that is the hypotenuse when dealing with a right triangle. So we know that 74 is our hypotenuse, and the adjacent is 24. So the inverse cosine of the cosine of y is equal to y, and the inverse cosine of 24 divided by 74, entering that into your calculator, we're going to get 71 degrees. So the answer to our last problem on this worksheet is 71 degrees. Remember to go ahead and like this video, and also please subscribe to my channel, that way you're updated when I release new videos. Also, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below.